This is very unforgiving architecture. It's very reduced, so everything needs to be perfect. So we're having details which are where it would have to be extremely precise in order to work properly. The entrance pavilion, which is like, it's, it's different, this is, that's the only one. However, all the other four pavilions are identical, yet they're turned. And we added a geometry where they will always look different depending on how you turn them. We wanted, of course, to get a feel that you're walking to some extent into another world. So we're having different layers to that. So you're coming into the pavilion, you're coming to this courtyard, walk, of course, into the more, into the cooler Nordic life. And then you're in that space and can really be immersed in the art of, of Edward Munch. We needed to create, just from an engineering point of view, a space for fine art. However, we also wanted to use the Great Hall. The perforation of the inner skin, it creates this kind of starry sky. And this is something which relates very closely also to some of the art from, from Edward Munch. So we decided early on, okay, we want to use it, we want to have it part of it, and we want to have it as a backdrop for our pavilions. Monk really cannot be uh, explained in a few words. Uh, his uh, historical significance in the art world and now bringing him here to this region and the significance of that itself is uh, beautiful. We aim to always inspire the youth and the Great Hall's objective is to bring world culture to Saudi Arabia. This is a prime example of that and young artists can come here and learn and I promise you that uh, they will be excited to try something new after they come here and feel the sense of history in these paintings.